IDG Tech Tools. In this video, I'm going to show you my latest mapping for the DJJ 1000 for Tractor Pro 3. As you all know, this is a record box only controller. However, it's MIDI mappable, so I took the previous mapping made for the SZ and the SX2 and ported every function to the 1000. There is a manual uh, that describes every function of the mapping. I'm going to cover all of them, all the features in detail. But first, an overview of the features. Let's get some music. You can choose the new mixer effects. Time gator, brush, filter. You can, uh, you can use, uh, you can choose effects here. Delay P3. Auto bouncer and so on. On the jobs, they were made as tight as possible over MIDI. All good. All the pad modes, I'm going to cover all these in detail. Rolls. Instant gratification. Here you have macro effects that work on the same button. So this is flight test, wormhole. Here you have the jog effects, which are great fun. You have the keyboard mapping, keyboard mode. You have a slicer. You have the slip reverse and real reverse. You have loop control, which also serves as big jump. You select how much you want, and then you you move it. You move, you move on the track by that value. I'm going 32 by 32 in this case. You have a preview player, which is really useful, which is independent from the decks, so it's like, it works like this. This one is playing. You go to another track. When you press back, it starts sounding on the headphones. Let's get this out. And you can search on the preview. When you release, it's done. Get another one. Hear it. Okay? So let me go then uh, in more details to the, to the functions. In particular, there is two shift modes. It will be quite, quite relevant. This is a normal shift mode that changes in, in the browser, for example, the, the collection and the tree. The memory is a second shift mode, which, for example, does uh, the waveform. It does, there is an effect track stop and with the other shift button you have to wait because it's a bug of tractor quite cool effect okay uh, so let me go then this is an overview of the of the functions of the features there's a lot of stuff before I forget when you select here you, you get the, the, the channel that you are changing, and this is tractor effects. So this is delay P3, for example. But if you go to master, then you get the pioneer effects. Let's get a look. So this is now the real low-cut low -cut echo. Mobius is pretty cool for pioneer. 
you all know this. The crucial thing is that this unit, uh, it only makes these effects in master mode when it's when you select channels is the tractor effects. So this is again the UAT3. Okay. So this is was a brief overview of the effects. Now I'm going to go in a, in a lot more detail, step by step. I'm going to follow the manual. The first page shows an overview of the look at it here. The first page shows an overview of the of the functions of the deck of the most important not the obvious ones of course i'm talking about the, the the layers the second one is the special functions on the mixer let's start with the pad modes the pad modes are as follows uh, i put the most important functions easily accessible with a single button so this works like this uh, hot cues is this one, you all know this. The second one, there is an effect going on, okay, hot out. Uh, so, this is hot cues, you all know this. Then, it's part effects, let's get part effects, and when you press a second time, you go to the second page of pad effects, which is rolls, which I'm going to cover in more detail in a moment. But now when you press again, you go back to the first page of pad effects. So this is really quick to go to the most important stuff. You are in hot cues, I want effects, here they are, oh, I don't want this page, press again. There is more pages which are accessible here. If you go here, to the, to the left, you can go page by page. So you have actually four pages. The blue ones, the pink ones, white, all, all yellow, and again blue. So you can access every page like this, and you guess it's the most important two like this. Really convenient. Here on this button, it's the macro effects, same story. They all work here on the filter button. And here is the most important macro effects for me, the top four. And this is, um, this is uh, the most important effects, the beat effects of tractor for me. I'm going to cover this in a moment. I just want to give you the overview. And then you press again and get the second page. And, there is a, and then you go back like this, so same story here, really convenient. And here you go to the, all the pages, and there is an, another page which is the mixer effects, which are accessible here, always, directly. Then the last button is the jog effects, especially number two, number four, number seven. Pretty cool. So you can go from any to any. With shift, this is now the keyboard mode, not the, the, the nice colors. You have two pages. This one is not assigned. This one is slicer. And this, is, this one is going to be the sampler in the next version of, the, of this mapping. Okay, so this is how the pad works. The, the pad mods work. This is this page. So now let me show the functions step by step, really slowly. So like I mentioned, this is a shift, this is a second shift. This is also a shift for the beat greeting. So when you press these buttons, nothing happens per se. But when you press with another key, stuff, different functions are assigned to the same buttons with different layers. Then we have the Q button, Q is, is the normal, like this, okay, but when you press with shift, you go to the beginning, nothing special here. With the play pal, you know about this, of course, but this is heavily overloaded, so I'm going to show you, with shift play, 
you get the vinyl stop long version with memory you get this effect like I mentioned before you have to wait until tractor uh, loads the effect the limitation of tractor itself next next button the, the browser so the normal way is the usual you press the load okay. and uh, when you press view it makes the full browser what is special about it is that when you press back let me show what it is this is playing and getting another one like I showed already and now it's showing them on the preview really convenient because you just select something you hear it quickly okay. and uh, and this way you don't need to load stuff to decks it also disables whatever cues you have so this is now playing the cues of, of the main deck when you press it stops the cues so that you can hear clearly the preview okay let's continue the next topic is loops so uh, this is not like the pioneer way where you have in and out this is a tractor way where you select the, the loop size and then press auto loop. So the way it works is like this. You. This button is always up and down, with or without a loop. Just like tractor use, uses all this time. When you press the button, it makes a 4-bit loop that you can quickly correct to wait or two or whatever you want so if you have a small va value it goes to four that's on, on purpose if you really want 32 then you press with shift now you get 32 and you can always change it of course what's interesting is that with the memory button it is now the bit jump the bit jump in, in record box was a pad mode and then you go, could go left and right and so on. This is much more convenient, I find, because it's like this. You just select the loop size that you want, for example, 32. We are not going to do a, a, a 32 loop. We are going to move by 32. So we press memory, and now press the, the loop button. And now, as you can see, I'm moving 32 by 32. The same effect, uh, the same way, if, if you press shift, you now change the move size, and tractor is better than record box on this particular topic, because you can decouple completely the loop size from the move size. And the way it works like this, when I change the loop, the loop size, the move size is the same as the loop size. So whatever loop size, I change the loop, it goes to loop. So that's really easy to, to go 16 and then you move 16. But what happens if you want, for example, if you have a loop which is uh, off by 1, for example, this. So I wanted the loop not there, but just one to the back. The way to, to solve this is you press shift and now you, you change to the, to the one and now you do a move like this. You see? I'm now fixing the, the loop. If there is no loop then it's, a, then it's a move by one or whatever value you want. Because this is so com so so common, what we have here is when you change, when you press shift 
uh, uh, memory loop, it changes automatically to one. And then with the same button, you just fix by one. Pretty convenient. So, again, you have whatever. Oh, it's, I have a loop. It's off by one. So let's get like this, or by two, or whatever. Memory auto loop. Now move by one, and now fix it. Really quick. Let's continue. That was the loops. Now the, the bit grids. The bit grids is this area here, and it works like this. When you press the either button, it changes automatically to the to the page of the bit grids. The track is locked, so let's get unlock it. Like this. Okay. And now this guy here is slide and this guy is adjust. Let me show you. Yeah, this we need to zoom in. Let's get some zoom in. Let's go to the beginning to, to be easier to see all these things. Let me show you. Okay. So to slide, you press this and you do like this. To adjust, you do this and as you can see the BPM is now changing. So very convenient, you fix your tracks and then you lock it again. That is for the BPM. If you want to set a, a new bit grid that changes from the, 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 the track, you do shift and... and uh, how does it work? No, now it's locked. So you press Shift and key sync, gets you not more bit grids. And Shift and key reset, the normal shift, deletes the one to the left. Okay, next topic. Next topic is the macro effects and the user effects. So this is, let's get and uh, a small you choose which one you want whatever regardless of the mode you always have the macro the mixer effect this is a, a tractor tree feature if you don't have tractor tree the mapping will work except that these buttons will always select filter speaking about filter here it is Plunger, Time Gator, Crush. If you do it shift the echo, you get noise. Yeah. Okay. Note that you can change uh, these uh, what they mean, you can put other values here. Let me show you how. You go to preferences, you go to mixer, and here, besides enable mixer effects, it was for external mixing mode on the SZ. Here you have the list, so let's change flanger is now going to be dot delay, for example. So we have eight. The others are like this, so you can you can change to whatever you want. Let's get the reverb. No, let's press it, etc. If you press again, it stops. It cancels the effect. So this is on the mixer effects. On the on the pads, you go here to what's name bit jump and this is the same story for macro effects how does it work the top ones let's get a loop so this is now wormhole this guy is active polar wind slide test Laser slicer. No, so 
and when you press again, it stops. Just like these buttons. But this is for the mixer effects, this is for the macro effects of Tractor. This row is the most useful effect, beat effect for me. So it's an alternative to have to select the, the specific one here. Really quick. So this is delay. And with the sampler volume, you control the dry wet or you cut here. Flanger. Reverb. When you press the second, you go to the second page like I showed before. For completeness, dark matter, Zorp, Event Horizon, Bassomatic, Stretch, the other stretch, Grand Phase. Uh, now let's go to this area. So here, you, this is for user, not this is whole automated, everything I've been showing, this is for manual. And I tried uh, to, to find effects that are close, so I'm talking about tractor effects, that are close to what's written here. If you have a better list, please tell me, and I'll gladly update the mapping to do so. This is, again, delay T3. So let's get delay T3 on. So you have dry wet, on off. You can select the value here, which is changing this guy here. And if you press memory, you can put whatever value you want. If you press shift left, you go to single mode. And now you can set every parameter. You all know the difference between between uh, single mode and group mode. And you can change like this. Group mode, single mode. Let's stay in group mode because it's easier. This is classic delay, ramp delay, auto bouncer, reverb, gator. This is not assigned because it's in Enigma Jet. Flanger, phaser, reverb, 3-3. This is a bit slicer, this is the bit measure, and this guy, this tool is Mobius, which is not assigned on purpose. Again, if you put master, then you have the, the pioneer effects, which are pretty cool. The issue is that this will affect all inputs, as you know. Uh, it would be great if Pioneer will change the firmware to apply their effects. To, the, to any input, USB inputs, because if you put this guy in line, uh, if, if I was going to play something from the, the, the outputs, it will work. So it has the capability to have multiple inputs and, and, and a master, but not USB. Speaking about this, do note that this is not like a mixer, to my disappointment, where it will cut completely the input. This is just a selector, to tell who, who do they send the MIDI commands to. So when you have number two, this will now send to the second USB, but it still plays. Be careful about this. Recordbox works in HDI, so they have the means to emulate this properly. But at least we have Tractor with all the automation capabilities, all the effects, uh, all the nice features, like uh, the, the mass relocate, for example, it's a good one for me. Okay. So next, next topic. The next topic is uh, the in detail the job effects. So I already showed this several times, really quickly. This is a bit mesher with a digital filter and a gator. press, it goes to a certain value, and then you modulate like this, you release stops, and then you press again, starts from the beginning. 
number two, pick master, filter and reverb. Number three, event arrive. Gator. Another gator with reverb. Plunger. If one has peak filter. And the last one has uh, the format, format filter. Pretty cool. Now watch. While this is active, when you go to another step to change your mixer effects and all these things, so you can do it all at the same time, because it's either the mixer effects or it's a different uh, unit, it's still on. To cancel that, you go to hot cues. Now it's scratch. Please don't get confused. So the, the way it works, it's scratch. When you go to effects, it's still scratch. When you go to, 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 to the jog effects, now it's jog. And now from now on, is jog. Until you go to hot cues. So basically hot cue is your escape button in your computer. Okay, next topic. The macro effects, already covered this several times. And so on. Don't forget, you can go to the top two like this. Really convenient. And with these, you go to all of them, including mixing effects. So now this is Time Gator and all these things, reverb. But this is not, not so needed because you have the direct buttons as you can see they check they do exactly the same thing final topic is the pen effects so so you have the roll the pass with an example when you release its sleep mode so it continues where it should on the bit so half Note that uh, in the meantime, so this is for, these are quantized on the beat, always, and this is the same, but not quantized. So this is not quantized, this is quantized. So that you can do this in the middle of the beat. I showed this many times in my previous videos, really quickly. To the gator, peak filter, bit masher, zorp, and now I can go to more. So this is a, a standard delay. Bit slicer, with or without digital filter, digital noise. Filter LFO, laser slicer, Vesomatic, Event Horizon, Mouser, another Mouser, with Event Horizon. Yeah, next topic, the keyboard. Ah, before I go this, let me show you the hot cues, nothing special here, you put, you, you, you get your book, your hot cues and then you, with, with, the, with shift, you delete them. If you have a loop, they, they are green, so this is two loops, and you delete them the usual way. We are finishing on the keyboard with shift, so note that for the, for the first time in quite a while, I went to use shift with two hands, or more cumbersome. So this works like this. Actually, let me get the, a different track that shows it better. So in here you have 
8 steps, you have more steps here, until the maximum, these tops, and these two guys, goes up and down. So you can access any possibility, this can, this can sort out. The slicer makes a loop You all know the slicer, let me get some bits going on I don't have the bit grid well because I've been messing around with the bit grids working on this When you go here, you can have several pages and the difference is that this makes the odd uh, parts of the beat or the even parts of the beat. So, in short, th this is it. Some, some more stuff that I want to show you. We already been here. Flip reverse. Real reverse. When you change that, it opens a layout, really convenient, especially if you have a, a small monitor, small screen. So here, of course, you could get any, any stuff here. So for that, you have the... You have effects to them. So I think I think that's it for now. Feel free to tell me your feedback, what you think. If you want more features, you are missing stuff. If you want to change the, the, the list of the parameters, if you have more combos that you are you find interesting, please tell me so that I can get the next version even better for you guys. That's it for now. Cheers.